Hello YouTube and welcome back to another TFT video where today we will be doing what is possibly the most important tier list of the set. We are doing a smash or pass tier list to see which champions in TFT Inkborn Fables is the most smashable. This is a very important tier list, it's probably the most important tier list of the whole set. Let's start right away with Aatrox. Aatrox is a very cool demon dude. Um, he definitely he definitely looks cool in the set. So, you know, we're gonna give him a. You know, he does look a little horny though, but that's even more reason to smash. So we'll give him a smash. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and do these two right now and I will pass on both of those as those are children. Ari. Ari is smashable in every set and in every skin that exists. So she definitely gets a smash even above Aatrox for sure. Uh, Aluna. Aluna also gets a smash from me. Smash. She goes up there. I, I don't think I need to explain much. She just looks really cool. I would smash. Now, Amumu is a pot. He's a, a pot, a porcelain teapot. I don't think... I mean, I could smash him into pieces. Ha, but, um... Realistically, I'd pass. I'd pass. I wouldn't want to hurt him. Uh, Aphelios. Aphelios looks very cool as well. Look. He looks almost as sexy as a Luna. So he, he gets a smash, for sure. Ash, smash, definitely. Even above Ari for me. Ash is a smash. Smash the Ash, as they say. Uh, okay, uh, Azir. Azir is a wooden dryad creature. I am going to have to pass on that. That sounds terrible. So I will pass. Bard. Hmm. Bard is a cool unit, but I don't think that specifically makes him very smashable. Uh, I think I'm going to have to pass on Bard. Uh, no, thank you. Caitlyn. Caitlyn also gets a smash from me, and I think I'd even put her up here above a loon. Definitely above a loon. Uh, maybe not above Ari, though, even though those cold dead eyes are doing something to me Cho'Gath uh you know Cho'Gath is a giant interdimensional beast and he looks kind of ferocious here so I'd be a little scared I think I'm gonna have to pass Darius looks like he would hurt me but he does have like this this strong protective vibe about him that makes him smashable I feel like more smashable than these down here but uh, he looks very angry in this picture, for example. So I don't think I want to risk my chances. I think I'd I'd have to pass. But I'd put him up here above above these right here. Diana. Diana is a definite smash. She looks awesome in the skin. This dragon lord skin that makes her look like a dragon dude. Um, and oh, this is a hard choice right here. Oh, Ari's so good though. Um. I don't know, I'm just a sucker for the white hair. I, I'm definitely going to put Smash, and I will put her above Ari for now. We'll see how this develops. Kabuko, a little furry teddy bear dude. Um, some people I feel like would Smash, but I'm going to have to pass as I'm not into Grandpa's. Uh, just not into that, so I'm going to pass on that. Galio. Hmm. Now, Galio is a giant gargoyle beast, but he also looks strong and large, like he would protect me. So I'm going to put Smash smash up here. He definitely would save you if you needed it. Like, if he smashes you, if you smash him, he'll protect you for sure. Garen. What a huge, chunky chunk of man. I would put him up here and smash. Below, probably below, like right here. Right here looks good. Uh, Nar. I don't know what Nar is, but I'm going to have to pass on that, Chief. For sure. Hui. Sexy art boy. 
I think I will put him up here and smash. Hell, he's so beautiful, I'll even put him up here above Caitlyn. Look at his face. Glorious. Smash. Alawi. Alawi looks like she would smash me. And although I know a lot of you out there are into this, I don't think I want to be smashed by Alawi. But I would rather be smashed by Alawi than Darius. So she gets a pass. But a high pass. Very high pass. Aurelia. Absolutely amazing. Smash. Smash, absolutely amazing. And, uh... It's really hard up here to put choose between Ash and Aurelia. These are my top picks so far, but I think I would put Aurelia even higher. So, smash for sure. Jaina, also smash. Below Ari. Below Huey even. Oh, below Caitlyn? Okay, I think this is a fair spot for Jaina. Because definitely smash, but look at all of these up here. This is a, a tough contest. Jax. I'm going to pass on Jax. I feel like he wouldn't be very fun. But maybe more fun than Darius. So pass. Kaisa. I mean, obviously this is a smash, right? We all know this. And she even goes above Jaina because she has those evil I'm going to kill you eyes, which I really like, like I said before. So definitely smash. Kane, smash. Just cool. Definitely smash on Kane. Uh, the reason is because he looks like one cold son of a gun. But Kane, Kane is a smash. And he would go even above, even above Galio. It's, it's very clear that I have sort of a type, you know, with the whole dead in the eyes look. I really like that. Except for Aurelia, maybe. Aurelia doesn't look like that. Kha'Zix. Uh, a li uh, he's like a bug. I don't think I want to smash a bug. So I'm going to pass. Um, he's a bug, dude. I, I don't really want any part of that. Just like kind of with this guy, Cho'Gath. He also looks like a bug to me. And I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I don't want it. Pass. Kindred. Pass. Very tiny. Tiny Kindred. I don't even know what Kindred is. But, uh... We'll put Kindred as a pass, for sure. I don't feel like I have to go into too much depth. I'm just not about it. Kogma. Now, when I thought of making this tier list, the first champ I thought was of Kogma. And I was like, in what world does somebody choose to smash Kogma? I mean, what? he's like a void brooch. Or tadpole. It's like a tadpole. So definite pass on me. It's just like the whole insect thing. Um, just not really about the whole insect thing, dude. So I'm just going to put him right there at the end. Pass. Pass is the deal. Lee Sin. He's a weak unit, which makes me want to pass on him because he's a four cost. But maybe now that he got buffed, he's stronger. So we'll, we'll put him up here. Definitely not above a loon. Put him right there. Very cool. Smash. Smash. Lilia. Oh, man. Okay, so Lilia is like a centaur. So I don't... I don't really want to say smash to that. But, like, top up. Smash. Smash. Top up. Just don't look down, I guess. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to even put her right here. Look, look at that beautiful face. That is a smashable face. I'll put her even up here. Look, look at that. I guess just only look at her face. I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. Lissandra. Now, is Lissandra even smashable? I don't know. She has like... She's like teleporting constantly. She has like this aura around her feet. Uh, I'm going to say pass because I don't know where that goes to. It's very confusing. I'm definitely going to pass. I'm going to pass, but it's a high pass. It's a high pass. I I'd even say it's above a Lowey for me. I just can't understand the semantics of the situation. So that's as far as I'm going to go with that one. Lux is a smash, for sure. She definitely goes above Aatrox. Uh, above these for me. <laughs> I think above Lilia. You know what? Lilia is going to have to move down when I... Even though I'm seeing her face, I can't shake the fact that she is a horse. 
essentially. Part horse. Lux, definite smash. Um, you know what? I'd even put her up here for me. But she can't go any higher than that. Not allowed. Malphite, pass. I think he's a rock. Um, he's a rock? So, you know, he kind of fits into the same category as uh, these guys right here. These guys would be pretty hard to smash unless you're just trying to smash them into pieces. So, we're just going to pass on that. Oh my god, Morgana. Dude, Morgana. Morgana's kind of like definitely up here somewhere. Uh, I think for me, she probably belongs all the way up, up top. Yeah. I feel like this is fitting my MO pretty good. Smash. Undoubtedly Smash, but... Not only undoubtedly Smash, but top of Smash list. Uh, pass. You are a giant submarine person. I don't want any part of this. You can go right there. Maybe above a Moo Moo, because it would be a more interesting experience, but... That's about it. You know what? I think I have to put this back in all good conscience. Nico, also some sort of nymph creature, but Smash, definitely Smash. She looks really cool. I like that. Smash. I'm gonna put her even above uh, the horse girl here. Uh, Orn. Orn. Ah, uh, oh man, this is a tough list, man. Um, Orn. Bearded. He's like Kabuko and the Dryads put together. So. Um, yeah, somewhere, somewhere down there. I think he belongs down there. Kiana. Smash. Uh, she's pretty cool to look at, so she gets a smash from me. But I don't think she gets a very high smash score of Super Smash. She just gets a normal smash down here. Maybe even below these right here. Yeah, I'd say so. Rek'Sai. Another bug. No, thank you. Leave me alone. I don't even like bugs. Please go down there. Ribbon smash. Ribbon smash, definitely. And she is up there, bro. She is up there for me. Definite smash. Even above these right here. Just amazing. These these top smashers are looking smashable. Senna. Smash. Absolutely smash. Way better than a lot of stuff here on the list. Uh, Lilia, I'm sorry. You're falling behind. Uh, you know what? Oh, it's, it's hard. Look, they both have those I'm going to kill you eyes. It's, it's hard to decide. Um, I guess I veer a little bit more this way. So I'm going to leave it like that. Smash. Smash for sure. Set. Smash. I mean, his skill is literally to smash. He belongs way up here. Like, way up here. Very smashable. And he'll smash you, most importantly. Mm, Shen. Shen is a smash because he is a very good unit. I'm sure his skill set would make you want to smash him as well. But as to how smashable he is, we can't even tell. He's wearing a mask. It's hard to tell. So we'll put him down here, below Aatrox, actually. But smash, Sivir. Sivir is a definite smash from me. She goes right here, above these. She actually has a face. And above Lee Sin. But for me, especially, specifically, I don't think she goes any higher than that. Soraka is a smash, dude. Soraka, look how cool she looks just there. Definitely above Jaina. Hell, dude. She's like right there for me. Yep. I think that's a good place for Soraka. Silas. Smash. Very burly, very, very strong, capable Silas. Definitely gets a smash. Put him, like, down here above Lilia. But, uh, that's about it. Smash, smash. Syndra, smash. Super smash. Uh, I think I just really favor the white-haired ones. The white-haired champions are, uh, very cool. So, Syndra goes even above here. I like her aesthetic in the set. She looks very cool. Smash. Tom Kench. Hell no, bro. I'm gonna pass on that. Look at that mouth. I don't want that anywhere near me. Please pass. P 
pass down here below below these guys because he looks way more threatening than these guys you know what all the way down here no thanks tom kench you were a scary fish pass pass on t-mail just like i don't even want to explain myself this is a little furry creature i i choose to pass pass on that just de dreadfully low smash smash on this guy thresh you look very cool this set smash I'll even put you up here, above Silas. Uh, once again, uh, pass with the Yordles, man. The Yordles, uh, I mean, like, uh, look at that. He just, he just belongs down here with the with the rest of the gang down here. I wish I could... Ah, just pass, pass. Smash on Udyr, though. Udyr, it's a strong dude right there. It's a strong dude right there. Lumberjack built. Dadbot. Smash. Foley Bear's a bear. I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna pass, but he looks really cool. Which would be an interesting story to tell. But I think I'm gonna pass on that because he's like... It's like a bear, bro. He'd probably maul you to death. I don't want that. Wukong is a, a monkey. He's just an actual monkey. But I guess, like, comparatively through all these, it's the most human-like. So he is a little smashable. But uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass. I'm just gonna pass on that. Um, he is actually a monkey and has a monkey's face on him. Uh, no, thank you. I'll pass since this is my own list. Zaya and Rakan smash absolutely. Both of them are together, so it'd be a crazy, crazy deal. I'm gonna put them really high up here. This is amazing. Smash. And like. If you can't get one without the other, which I'm pretty sure you can't, because they're like their whole thing is being lovers, then I would I would take the package deal. I'll put them right there. They land in third place for now. Yasuo. Yasuo is a smash. He's a very cool, badass samurai. Um, he definitely gets a smash. Does he go up here? Yeah, he goes right there. Smash, smash. Yone, even more smashable, even cooler samurai. Um, and he's also been dominating the set, so you know he's quite good. Let's let's put him up here, even ab above Udir. Nah, nah, not above Udir, but maybe above Kane. Yorick, he is smashable, but I'm going to pass on him, and he is going to take third place of least to most smashable. And Zyra, easy, smash, absolutely. Look, ugh, look at those killer eyes, dude. She gets a smash from me. And let's see, looking over at this list one last time, is there anything I would adjust? Uh, no, no, no. The pass is uh, children, little furry animals, and inanimate objects that would really hurt. Uh, so that looks good on the pass. On the smash list, is there anything I would change up there? Mm, I don't think so. Except for maybe Lilia, because I, I can't get over the fact that she is part horse. But uh, look at that beautiful face. Uh, but uh, you know what? Yeah, I, I just... Up here. She can go up here. Yeah. Maybe that's the only thing I would change. Everything else, though? It's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. Thank you for joining me on this Smasher Pass. For all the TFT champions, if you enjoyed this video and are still sticking around, make sure you like, subscribe, and leave a comment below on what your most smashable champion of this TFT set is. Thanks for watching. See you next time.